So we're gonna start right on our hands and knees this morning. So we want wrists under shoulders, knees under our hips. Take it right into your cat cow. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Flow with the breath. And then when you're ready, come back to neutral spine. And all we're gonna do is raise the right leg at the, at the hip there, so the knees bent. And then we're gonna start to rotate that knee. So draw some circles with the kneecap. We're rotating through the hip socket. And when you're ready, change your direction. And then rest. So you can do the same thing on the other side. Just rotating through the hip, making some circles with the kneecap, pressing through the other knee to stabilize you and the top of the foot. Switch directions when you're ready. And then bring that knee back down. And we're just gonna slide right down as if we're coming into our child's pose. We're gonna come onto our elbows and to give our wrists a break, just draw the fingers back. Grab the hand at the top of the palm there and just pull the fingers back. Draw the wrists and the hand forward. Both sides, same thing. And then rotate through the wrists. Maybe make your hands into fists. And then flick the fingers out. Good, and then we'll come back to our table now that we've stretched through the wrists a little bit. We'll come back to our table. <clears throat> so we've loosened up that hip, hip socket. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift that right leg again and we're gonna bring it all the way around so that our right foot comes up to be alongside the hands and the hands are in the middle on the inside of that foot. With the back leg here, I'm gonna curl the toes and I'm gonna pop up. So I'm coming into lizard. So I'm up on my toes, the knee is off. If you, this isn't in your practice, just let the knee come back down. Just drop it back down and keep the toes curled. So both options are just fine. So you can pop up the knee if you want. I'm gonna take my gaze forward, breathe into the hips. And then I'm gonna drop the knee down if it's not already down. I'm gonna take the right hand and I'm gonna come into my twist. So I'm gonna send the right arm up to the ceiling. Big twist. I'm gonna bring that right hand back inside of the right foot. And now on the other side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my left hand to my left hip and I'm just gonna peel the hip open so that I'm opening up through the chest. And when I do the other side, you'll get a better visual. But just a little open twist there. Then I return the hand back down. We're going to slide. I'm going to pop back up actually on my left leg first and I'm going to slide the right leg back to join it coming into our plank pose. Take a few breaths here and then when you're ready drop the knees down, drop the belly down. Palms come to the earth, chin comes to the earth and then baby cobra. Little back bend and release it back down. I'm gonna to return to all fours. I'm gonna scooch around so you have a better view 
of the other side. So I'm coming back to my table pose. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna rotate that left leg forward. Coming up, knee bent, back knee still on the ground, palms on the inside. Now if you're ready, you can scooch that right leg back, come up onto the toes. Lizard pose, look forward. Or you can keep that back knee bent, keep the toes curled. And then when you're ready, coming into our twist. So left, sorry, right hand plants down, left arm comes up to the ceiling. And remembering two options, knee down or knee up. Good, bring the arm down. Send the right hand to the hip, and I told you you would have a better view, and I lied, so I'm going to switch myself around again. So we're here, sending right hand to hip, rolling it open, open twist. Remember, you can always have the knee down as well. So I've got this arm pressing against the leg, and I'm just holding onto the hip and rolling myself open. Good, then release back down, palms back to the mat, coming up on my right leg, sliding back the left, we return to our plank. Take a few breaths, engage the belly, pull the belly button up and in. And then you can drop the knees first, lower the belly down, lower the chin down, baby cobra. Slide the shoulders down the back. Good, release the chin back down, curl the toes, send it all the way up to your down dog, peel the hips up. Send the palms to the outsides of your mat, pedal the legs out. Breathe. And then bring it into stillness, so guide the heels down. Press through the heels, press through the hands. And then when you're ready, drop the knees down. Slide the hips back. I'm gonna fold my right arm in to rest my forehead on top of my forearm. And then I'm gonna send my left hand up to the top corner of the mat. So what I'm doing, oh, Pila, can you just get out of the shot? So what I'm doing is getting a nice stretch through the left. left rotator cuff I should say. Slide that back. I come and rest now. You can sit there, yep. I come and rest on the left forearm and slide the right arm. Whoopsie. And that ends today's yoga session. Say bye guys. Bye.